DTU Nanolab is responsible for and is actively involved in a number of courses at the bachelor, master and PhD level. Additionally, our staff provides guest lectures in several DTU courses. In 2021 and 22, Professor and Dr. Raphael Tabariski will lead the department's largest experimental course. The course is offered because DTU Nanolab would like to be able to offer a course with hands-on experience for the students in micro and nanofabrication, but still with an advanced level. Students who have taken this course can continue their studies at master's level and be qualified to be employed in a relevant tech company that are using the clean rooms. Raphael Tabariski's course will establish a kind of industrial common around the clean rooms. A number of companies from outside use the clean rooms at D2 Nanolab and they need qualified engineers for the work. For D2 Nanolab, collaboration is a large part of the department's DNA, and 2021 was no exception. Here we welcomed a very special guest, the Hydra. Uh, the Hydra is an instrument uh, that is really used and is really essential for uh, other DTU institutes, not only for uh, our departments, not only for uh, DTU Nanolab, uh, DTU Energy and uh, DTU uh, Mechanics are really uh, dependent on an instrument like that. Uh, the Hydra is uh, is a special uh, uh, electron uh, microscope uh, that uh, has a focused uh, ion beam, so it can be used uh, to fabricate uh, small, thin slices of uh, many materials uh, that then can be used in transmission electron microscopes. And uh, there has been uh, a need at uh, DTU to have uh, a high throughput instrument that can produce these uh, slices that are essential for, for nearly all uh, transmission electron uh, microscopy. And uh, the Hydra is, uh, is a semi-automatic uh, instrument uh, that can uh, produce uh, these slices, thereby uh, do sample preparation for transmission electron microscopy, also for people at uh, D2 Energy and for people at uh, D2 uh, Mechanics. So, so it is an instrument that illustrates the uh, collaborations uh, that we have and the infrastructure that, that we uh, provide for other DTU institutes. And that means that DTU has to have only one instrument that is uh, utilized a lot instead of uh, having uh, multiple uh, instruments at uh, different uh, departments that are used uh, only 10-20% uh, uh, each. 2021 was also a year of construction at DTU Nanolab. The department started several building and renovation projects. We are building a soft matter lab in the basement of 307, which uh, is for soft uh, matter microscopies. So uh, we have uh, made a pre-project uh, during the last year where we have identified that we can double the existing uh, clean room area, so the, uh, the so-called uh, white space, so the clean part of the clean room uh, area, by uh, expanding over into the parking lot just close to the existing building 346. And that according uh, to DTU's plans on using uh, the existing uh, building ground, that we will also add uh, some offices on the higher floors. Hopefully, if the project goes uh, through, finally, which uh, is uh, to be decided by DTU's board of directors, we will uh, double uh, the area of the clean room and uh, have additional uh, office space uh, on top of it. And we're using most of uh, 2022 to make uh, exact plans and to make a proposal that then will be uh, looked at uh, at DTU's uh, board of uh, directors in the end of 2022. Now, what we uh, did uh, this year together with the uh, campus uh, service is uh, we exchanged our fan filter units. Uh, fan filter units are the uh, combined uh, fans and filters that, that exchange the air in our clean room and filter the air in our clean room so we can have a dust-free environment. The new filters are much more modern and unlike the old filters, they can be adjusted according to conditions. But the plan for the filters is much more than that. The filters will be adjustable depending on how many people working in the clean rooms and how much dust there is. At night, when there are only a few people in the clean rooms, the filters can run with fewer rounds per minute and that will mean a significant reduction in DTU Nanolab's electricity consumption. All that together resulted in a fantastic year for us uh, that now, uh, which uh, in a way is uh, a challenge for the future and uh, the coming years, we have to deliver on that uh, challenge. <laughs>